If you want to make a hole, whether it's in a piece of wood, your backyard, or an oil well, you need a tool with something at the end to do the work. In this drilling minute, you'll learn about the different kinds of drill bits used in oil and gas wells. Unlike what you might find at the hardware store, oil and gas drill bits are much bigger, from just a few inches to a few feet in diameter. Different sized bits are used to drill different sized holes. The sizes needed are determined by the formation properties in the well plan. The goal of the drill bit is to fail the formation in front of it, following a pre-planned path. Obviously, we want the bit optimized to do this in the most safe, efficient, and cost-effective way possible. All drill bits have a connection, usually a standardized thread, which allows them to securely attach to the drill string. Bits also have to have fluid passageways to direct drilling fluid through to clean the bit and carry the cuttings back to the surface. Finally, all drill bits have a cutting structure, an arrangement of cutting elements that actually engage and fail the rock. Drill bits are usually classified by their cutting structure. In general, there are rolling cutter bits, which have moving components and use mainly weight to fail the rock in compression, and fixed cutter bits, which drag cutting elements across the bottom of the hole using mainly torque to fail the rock in shear. There are many different bit types within these categories, and they are all used for different reasons, which is the topic of the next drilling minute. This drilling minute was brought to you by Ulterra, an ESCO oil and gas company. Please send feedback to info at and thanks for watching.